Joy, joy, joy. Welcome to Angel Feathers. I'm Swami, the Orange Cowboy. And today on our show, Kelly Kalin, a life, spiritual, and energetic coach. Welcome to the show, Kelly. Thank you, Swami. It's an honor and a joy to be here with you. Tell us your story when you've had a contact with your angels and your life changed miraculously. I have uh, angels in my life all the time. Um, I'm very blessed that way. I have asked for them to be here. This particular instance was actually uh, saving mine, my and my sister's life. I live in the Pacific Northwest, and at the time she lived in Florida, and she decided to move up to be here with me. And I flew down to be with her to, on this drive because it's a long drive, and I think you need somebody with you at, at, um, during that time. And it just so happened that the time that we were traveling, there were a lot of storms in the southern part of Louisiana and Texas. There was just a lot of moisture coming up through the Gulf. And if you know the weather there, it can be very dangerous, and, um, and, and it's strong, strong weather. We were driving through Louisiana at the time, and it, yeah, was, it raining. was raining. It was coming, it was down, coming pretty down pretty well. Pretty well. And what happened then is we were we were traveling at a good pace on this freeway. We had 18 wheeler next to us. You know, the guy behind us would have preferred to have been in front of us, and we were clipping along pretty well. And we were coming up to a um, an exchange. And so it was up over the uh, up in the air, and there was construction going on. There were Jersey berms on either side, and running along at this good clip. And we were next to this 18 wheeler. We were like about right here, and this 18 wheeler was, you know, just a little bit in front of us. And my sister, my sister who was driving, got a, as she would put it, a strong suggestion to drop back. That was the term, drop back, and she did. And she says, I'm dropping back. She just said it just like that. She drops back. And just as she drops back, we hit an uneven pavement. Actually, the 18-wheeler next to us hit an uneven pavement. And it jumped. It literally jumped into mm. our lane. Wow. And had to pull you know, into our lane to get, get the 18-wheeler in control. The amazing thing about this is that had we not dropped back, we would have been right next to that cab. That cab would have hit us. There's, it probably would have landed right on top of us, pushed us into the Jersey berm. And the, you know, the guy behind us who wanted to be in front of us would have hit us. Yeah. It came through as a strong suggestion. It wasn't an order. Right. It wasn't any, anything else just to, hey, it was a drop back. It was a strong suggestion saved our lives, saved our lives. And that was the one, that was one time on this trip that we had the angels come to us and, and save our lives. That was the one we know about. But through the whole trip and all of this weather and all of this, everything, I mean, we were a step ahead of the weather the whole way. They closed down I-10 behind us in Louisiana afterwards. And we were so lucky and so blessed. To this day, we'll tear up thinking about that, thinking about that moment and how had we not gotten the suggestion to drop back, had my sister not listened to it immediately because it was moments, moments that it was just a moment, literally a moment that changed our life right there. It was, it's amazing. And it was, it was an audible suggestion, drop back. That was it. That was it. And Simple saved our lives. Life saved. saved our lives. I and have to ask, what, did something, did you, either of you or both of you decide in that moment to do something different with your life or more of the same or double down I think on something? more of the same. What, what we realized after the trip is that it was a huge transition. This was a transition period for mm -hmm. both of us. It, it turned our lives in a different direction because, because of the transition. We, we look back, we know that that whole trip was, I guess, kind of a, a passage, a rite of passage. And listening to our angels the whole way, um, we got so many messages. Um, we now do what we call love bombs. Um, whenever we come across people who are... Um, 
a little less than happy, let's say, um, we'll we'll drop love bombs on them. We'll just think we're just going to throw them a love bomb. And <laughs> I, that one thing is something that we do to this day that we never would have done before. I know, I know that that has an impact on people. Just like you've, you know, you've told me that you can sit there and think joy and look at somebody and say joy, 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 and they'll turn. Their moods will turn. Right. You know when you send love to somebody that yeah. that's going to have an effect on them. We can't possibly know all the ripple effects that this right. is going to have, that the impact that we're going to have on people just just from there and being able and turning our lives, turning switching what we're doing in our lives. Um, my sister, right. who wasn't really spiritual at the time, became a huge believer. Um, in angels and, and her her life has changed so dramatically um, she's not the same she's not even the same person right. I'm probably not either it's just harder to see in myself <laughs> than in others but but the the just the desire to send that love out came really in that moment because we know that we're loved and we're looked after and we're taken care of and to get a warning like that heat it and have something so miraculous occur that you know we're back we're out of danger because of it was just an amazing experience well thank you so much for sharing kelly i wish you and your sister many many angel blessings and angel joy going forward thanks for being here today thank you so much swami i really appreciate and feel honored to be here with you thank you for the invitation Joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy.